The year is 3,700, and a doctor enters a house a few hours after dusk. The family living there sought this man out specifically. They have heard from a relative that smallpox had broken out in a nearby village, and they want to make sure their young son is protected. This physician claims to know a secret ritual, one that will protect the child from the worst effects of the disease. A ritual that in our time, we call vaccination. The physician has already harvested scabs from a smallpox victim in exchange for coin or perhaps as part of the price for treatment. He has dried these scabs out and crushed them into powder, mixed perhaps with his own proprietary blend of medicine. Now, he approaches the child and, using a long pipe, blows the powder into the child's nose. Coin is exchanged and the doctor departs. This ritual is carried out in secret. The physician does not want his competitors learning of his methods. He will never publish his methods and will pass them on only to his students, likely members of his own family. The family of the patient fears that their neighbors will discover what they have done. This ritual will cause their son to develop smallpox, and although it will be a far milder and less deadly form of the disease, the child will still be infectious, putting the community at risk. So they will sequester their son for several weeks and make excuses. And while it sounds like I'm describing some sort of horrible, dystopian, yet increasingly likely uh, future, I I'm just using the traditional Chinese calendar. Hey, uh, the year is actually 1000 AD, uh, roughly, and the procedure I just described is one of the first historical vaccinations. Uh, asterisk. If you want to learn more, I'm doing a two-part series on the mysterious origins of smallpox, as well as the history of its eradication. So, check out those videos!